people in this room know that for 50 years, Lagos and Atlanta have been sister cities. This year, 50 years. And so, ACM went to Atlanta, and it's so nice to be here on the other side of it as well. We certainly want to thank Ascend Studios Foundation uh, for their support and all of the other people that made this possible. So I'm the Public Affairs Officer. I'm here at the U.S. Consulate in Lagos. I was also in Abuja at the Embassy as the Cultural Affairs Officer. I love film. I love film and TV. And so this is a real honor to be here. I'm going to be here to tell you three things. One, the U.S. government supports women's equity. We know that communities, industries are stronger when women succeed. And so we want to see women succeed. Also, the creative economy, we know it drives economic development. And so we are supporting that. And the third one is we have some special opportunities for public-private partnerships and capacity building. I heard the panel and some of the things um, that people are looking for, and I think that we can help and provide some of those. So first I want to say the United States has benefited from about the last hundred years of being able to tell our stories through Hollywood films and through TV. But right now, we see this as Nigeria and Africa's moment. The world is watching and interested in these stories. Nollywood, it's amazing. I, I have seen so many amazing films. I have met talented people. Um, and I'm so glad that we are able to support and connect. My understanding, I've heard, and somebody can tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the creative industries, Nollywood, Afrobeats, and others are set to be the, the biggest export from Nigeria. And that's amazing. That means jobs, opportunities. There is no lack of talent in Nigeria. Maybe not enough opportunity, and we want to be here to help with that. We're also very pleased that the world, that Nigeria, that Africa, and the world are streaming these um, films and television shows on U.S. platforms, whether it's Netflix, Prime Video, or YouTube, which I know a lot of people use as the place to get their work out there to try to get funding and development. So I want to tell you that I've been watching films for a long time. I love to see women's stories up on the screen and to know that they're being made by women. So maybe some of you in this room remember 2009. I don't know if you were watching the Academy Awards, but it was the very first time a woman won Best Director, won an Oscar, Catherine Bigelow for Her Locker. That was way too long, 2009. I heard someone also say that sometimes Nigeria is advanced. Nollywood is more advanced than Hollywood in the inclusion of women and the success of women. And I think, I think that's true. I have seen so many people in front of the camera, whether it's Joke Silva or Shafi Bello. I've seen women be successful behind the camera and as producers, whether we're talking about Bolanli Austin Peters, we're talking about Boa Udu. There's so many people here. You guys have role models. You're paying it forward. You're mentoring. You're doing all the things that are growing the industry. I also had the opportunity um, in 2002 to be at the Africa Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. And the excitement I felt when a film about a strong Nigerian woman, Fumalayo Ransomkuti, was on the screen and it, it featured also strong Nigerian talent behind the camera producing and on the screen as well. So things are growing, it's blowing up, and we are here to support and help. We have several new programs. We do things like public-private partnerships, but we do capacity building as well. And so two things that have happened recently, actually three, we've done an international visitors leadership program in creative industries that took leaders to the United States to connect 
connect them with their counterparts so Americans could learn from Nigerians and the participants could learn from the Americans in the industry. We also started two new exchange programs. One, the Africa Creative Television Initiative, and later, maybe in about 30 minutes, there'll be a panel with the participants from that program. Um, the program was so successful that we'll be doing it again, and you'll be hearing from our implementing partner, uh, the University of Southern California uh, School of Cinematic Arts, one of the leaders in the world, uh, is here to talk to you and tell you more about that. We also, for young and aspiring um, students that want to go into the film industry and television, we have the Community College Initiative, and that's taking students to the U.S. to go to community college for a whole year to do the script to screen process. And so these, these are just some of the things that we're doing. Um, and networking is a lot of this. I'm happy to meet and talk to anybody here, um, share my contact, and the best way to find out what's happening and what we're providing is to follow us on social media, U.S. in Nigeria. Is, is anybody already following U.S. and Nigeria? Yay! But that's when you're going to find out about these openings and these exchange programs. Um, we also have funding, we support film festivals, and we do many things, but we think that it's so important for you to be able to tell your stories, for women to succeed, um, and to be in partnership with Nigeria. So thank you so much. We're so glad you're here. This is amazing. Um, keep doing what you're doing and pay it forward. Thank you. Another sounding round of applause. I mean, those are amazing initiatives. They're putting the money where they're about this. They're creating industries and ensuring that uh, 